Hello there. Today I want to show you guys some recent modifications that I've made to several of my sabers. Um, that's actually one of the things that I find uh, the most entertaining about this hobby is that you can, you know, customize your lightsaber handle and make it have some truly unique, um, you know, designs that really make the saber yours. So the first thing that I want to show is, um, so I've done a full video on this staff before, and uh, originally this piece was an engraved piece, and it was about this long. Uh, and the pieces here um, were a little shorter as well. And so it made the saber itself much longer. So because this midsection was down here, um, you know, I really added an extra inch, and since this is my staff, I really wanted this to be um, you know, more more of a one-handed, maybe a little bit of a two-handed, um, but I wanted that to be as short as possible so that in the staff configuration it was not as long. The other, th other thing that you'll notice is that this is actually electric tape, and what I really like about that is that it actually has a similar finish to the black up here. So, and if you haven't had a chance to watch one of my previous videos, um, so I took a uh, three-inch uh, MHS compatible extender. I actually took a uh, LGT extension and actually just resined it in and that made it compatible with this MHS um, Ultra Sabers quick release coupler. So I can go from staff to paired uh, real quick. So really the only change from the last time I did a video was that I swapped out the engraving and made this piece longer so that I have a, a more solid grip on the staff. Uh, the next change is for this, which is um, an Ultra Sabers uh, V2 staff, and of course I have that beautiful um, dark saber blade. I've had that, of course, for for a while, but I put electric tape to kind of block this out, and I've cut the electric tape a bit to give some of that um, interior artistry etching to to be able to pass through. The main thing that's different about this is this Suba. So that is a plumbing flange, and originally I actually had this flange uh, on the top of it. And what it would do is I would just put the blade through the flange, and it would just sit right on top of the emitter. So you can see that does it give it a bit of an extension. And the downside to that was that because this had to fit through the blade, that only gave me about that much tang to get in the emitter uh, for, for this Darksaber blade. And I really wanted to have a more secure hold. So what I've done is I put a, another plumbing flange here. Or uh, Actually, I'm not really sure what this is. It's just a PVC piece that I had found at uh, Home Depot. Get, wedge this out. And so I just use some resin to glue this piece uh, after I of course wrapped it in foil tape and that piece has some air conditioning foam that I just hot glued in and that just sits right above that so of course I had to I wedge that down and I actually cut this specifically so that it would be compatible with this saber and my Antares here So that piece is specifically cut there so that it goes around the top button there and that piece goes around the bottom and then that fits snugly around there too. So if I wanted to put that flange on my Antares, I certainly could, uh, but of course for now we're going to leave that on the uh, V2. Um, the, the goal for this lightsaber, of course you see that I've got that katana wrap on there, um, the Suba, and then of course the dark saber gives it kind of a, you know, lightsaber katana look. So that's kind of what I was going with for that. Now for this uh, modification, uh, of course I've shared this modification with the uh, gold, um, that little cap for the recharge port uh, and everything. You know, this red thumb screw. The big difference are these T grips. So originally, and you can kind of see the seam right there, that's where this piece, this grip section actually ends. And I originally just had this tacked on right about there. 
you kind of use your imagination there and pretend these aren't there. Um, so same length, but because the outer diameter of this piece and the outer diameter here are, differ, um, and that was just on this end here, it looked, it didn't look like a grip section to me. It just looked like a really fat pommel. So I, I wanted to kind of rectify that and make this look a lot more integrated. So I bought a smaller uh, piece uh, extension here, glued it to this grip section, so I can still, I can still take this whole section off if I want. Show you what that looks like. I'm gonna set this aside, and and I specifically do this because I like to swap out the battery instead of um, using the recharge port. It's just way easier to pop out the battery, put in a freshly charged one, and then put the uh, battery in my external charger. But for the grip here, let me take this pommel off. I'll get to that pommel in a minute. But now this is all one solid piece. You can kind of see down the inside there. Um, and I actually used resin to glue this grip piece into here, and then this was a double male uh, coupler, and I glued that into there, and then just glued on these T-grips. So now this is one solid chunk. It looks much more integrated, and I am quite happy with this overall look. This is kind of my take on a replica saber. It doesn't look like any particular character's saber, but it has elements. So, of course, you've got a pseudo thin neck with a little bit of gold. That's like Luke's. Um, same with these grip sections, very much like Luke's Return of the Jedi saber. But then you have the T-grips, like Anakin's, Darth Vader's saber. Um, so just overall kind of gives that, that look that I'm quite pleased with. Now for the pommel, this is actually just a um, double female coupler. Well, what I've done is I have got this little speaker piece here and added this D-ring section which uh, originally came with this pommel. That way I get to have my, my D-ring uh, and, and I specifically placed this just off center, as you can see, because when the ring is folded up, this fits perfectly right in there. Okay, those are my saber modifications. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, you know, like I said, I, I love this part of the hobby, kind of modifying the sabers to, to, to fit your needs. Um, just have fun with it, and may the Force be with you.